Are you ready for the hazards of space exploration? The allure of space, with its infinite darkness, twinkling stars, and the promise of unknown worlds, has captivated humanity for centuries. But venturing beyond Earth's embrace is not without risk. It's a thrilling journey fraught with challenges that test the very limits of human resilience. In this video, we embark on a voyage to uncover the hidden dangers of space travel and delve into the remarkable ways we are mitigating these risks for the courageous astronauts who dare to venture into the cosmic unknown. Their safety and well-being depend on our understanding and preparedness for the extraordinary challenges of space. As we leave the protective embrace of Earth's atmosphere, we encounter one of the most pervasive threats to space travelers, space radiation. Unlike the relatively mild radiation we experience on Earth, space is awash in high-energy particles from the sun and distant cosmic events. These particles can damage DNA, increasing the risk of cancer and other health problems. Imagine tiny, invisible bullets whizzing through space at nearly the speed of light, each carrying enough energy to disrupt the delicate machinery of our cells. To shield our astronauts from this invisible enemy, spacecraft are equipped with specialized materials and early warning systems. But even with these precautions, space radiation remains a constant concern, especially for long-duration missions. We evolved under the constant pull of Earth's gravity, a force that shapes our bodies and governs our movements. But in the microgravity of space, our bodies begin to change. Bones lose density, muscles atrophy, and even our cardiovascular systems are affected. Imagine living in a world where you're constantly falling, where every push sends you drifting effortlessly through the air. It sounds like fun, and in a way it is, but this freedom comes at a price. To counteract these effects, astronauts engage in rigorous exercise routines and wear specialized garments that mimic the effects of gravity. Understanding the long-term consequences of microgravity is crucial for ensuring the health of astronauts on extended missions, such as a journey to Mars. Space is a place of extreme temperatures, where the sun's rays beat down with unrelenting fury and shadows hold an icy grip. In the vacuum of space, there is no atmosphere to moderate temperatures, so spacecraft and astronauts are exposed to dramatic swings in heat and cold. Imagine a world where a single step can take you from the blistering heat of a furnace to the numbing cold of deep space. To survive in this harsh environment, spacecraft are designed with sophisticated thermal control systems that regulate internal temperatures. Astronauts wear specially designed suits that provide thermal insulation and keep them comfortable whether they're working in the sunlight or venturing into the shadows. The human spirit, as resilient as it is, thrives on connection and a sense of belonging. In the vast emptiness of space, astronauts face prolonged periods of isolation and confinement, often in close quarters with a small crew. Imagine the psychological toll of being millions of miles from home with only a handful of people to interact with, day in and day out. It's a testament to human adaptability that astronauts endure these conditions, but not without challenges. To mitigate the psychological risks of isolation, mission planners prioritize crew compatibility, provide opportunities for communication with loved ones back home, and incorporate leisure activities into mission schedules. Maintaining mental well being is crucial for mission success, as the psychological demands of space travel are just as significant as the physical ones. In the vast cosmic ocean, spacecraft are like tiny islands of life support, hurtling through the void. Unlike missions in low Earth orbit, where resupply missions are relatively routine, venturing further into space demands a high degree of self-sufficiency. Imagine a flat tire in the middle of the desert, but instead of a tow truck, the nearest help is millions of miles away. Astronauts are trained in a wide array of disciplines, from engineering and medicine to botany and plumbing to handle any situation that may arise. Spacecraft are designed with redundancy in mind, ensuring that critical systems have backups upon backups. And as we venture further into space, the need for self-sufficiency will only become more paramount. Our bodies, shaped by the relentless pull of Earth's gravity, undergo remarkable adaptations when exposed to the weightlessness of space or the fractional gravity of other celestial bodies. 
Imagine stepping onto a planet with twice Earth's gravity. Every movement would feel like wading through water, every step a monumental effort. Conversely, in the microgravity of space, our muscles and bones, no longer needed to support our weight, begin to atrophy. Understanding how our bodies respond to these gravitational shifts is crucial for planning long-duration missions. Artificial gravity systems, specialized exercise equipment, and dietary interventions are all being explored as ways to mitigate the negative effects of prolonged exposure to altered gravity environments. Spacecraft, for all their technological marvels, are confined, artificial environments that can pose challenges to human health and well-being. Imagine living inside a sealed metal box, breathing recycled air, and drinking water that was once your own sweat. It's a testament to human ingenuity that we've created life support systems capable of sustaining life in the harshness of space, but these systems are not without their limitations. Maintaining air quality, managing waste, and preventing the spread of microbes are constant concerns. Spacecraft are equipped with sophisticated filtration systems, waste management technologies, and antimicrobial surfaces to minimize these risks. But as missions become longer and more ambitious, the challenges of maintaining a healthy spacecraft environment will only grow. The human mind, capable of extraordinary feats of imagination and problem solving, is also vulnerable to the psychological stresses of space travel. Imagine the pressure of knowing that millions of miles from home, your every action, every decision, could have life or death consequences. It's a burden that few of us on Earth can truly comprehend. Astronauts undergo rigorous psychological screening and training to prepare them for the mental demands of spaceflight. Mission Control provides psychological support throughout missions, and crew members are trained to recognize and address signs of stress in themselves and their colleagues. Maintaining mental well-being is paramount for mission success, as a single moment of impaired judgment or a lapse in focus can have catastrophic consequences. In the event of a medical emergency on Earth, we have access to a vast network of hospitals, specialists, and medical technologies. But in the remote and unforgiving environment of space, medical resources are limited, and the consequences of even a minor injury or illness can be magnified. Imagine breaking a bone on Mars, millions of miles from the nearest hospital. Astronauts are trained in basic medical procedures, and spacecraft are equipped with basic medical kits. But for more serious conditions, the options are limited. Telemedicine, where astronauts consult with doctors on Earth, is a vital tool. But even with real-time communication, the delay in transmitting signals can be crucial in an emergency. As we venture further into space, developing advanced medical technologies and procedures for treating injuries and illnesses in space will be paramount. Returning to Earth after a journey through space is a perilous undertaking a fiery plunge through the atmosphere that tests the limits of human engineering and endurance. Imagine a meteor streaking across the sky, generating intense heat and pressure as it punches through the air. That's what a spacecraft experiences during re-entry. To protect astronauts from the searing temperatures, spacecraft are equipped with heat shields that absorb and dissipate the heat of atmospheric friction. Parachutes and retro rockets are deployed to slow the spacecraft's descent, ensuring a safe landing. But despite these precautions, re-entry remains one of the most dangerous phases of space travel, a reminder that even as we reach for the stars, we are bound by the laws of physics. As we venture further into the cosmos, driven by our insatiable curiosity and our thirst for knowledge, we must confront the inherent risks of space travel. The dangers are real, the challenges immense, but the rewards, in terms of scientific discovery, technological advancement, and the expansion of human understanding, are immeasurable. It's a cosmic tightrope walk, a delicate balance between pushing the boundaries of exploration and ensuring the safety of those who dare to venture into the unknown. But as we learn to mitigate these risks, developing new technologies and procedures, we move closer to making space travel safer and more accessible for generations to come. And who knows what wonders await us among the stars, waiting to be discovered by future explorers. For now, we can only imagine, marvel at the audacity of those who dare to dream of reaching for the cosmos and continue our journey of exploration, one calculated risk at a time.